Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Zach B, and welcome back to another Top 3 Missions episode here on Blowout Gaming. Now, if you missed my last Top 3 Missions episode, make sure to go back in the episodes and check that out after this one. Today, we're actually going to be going over my Top 3 Missions in the new Bog Biome. And remember, we are going to be taking a look at which missions are best for single player. So we're going to be taking a look at their difficulty, quality of loot, number of hexagons, and of course, the overall enjoyment. So make sure to hit that like button for me, and of course, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the great videos that I'm going to be putting out there. All right, so the first mission that I want to go ahead and take a look at with you guys is, of course, the bog fishing. Now, there were two fishing missions that were put out with the new Genesis DLC, the ice fishing over in the Arctic and the bog fishing over here. This mission quickly has become my favorite fishing mission, hands down down now the goal of this mission is to cast your net into the little pond here and catch as many fish as possible in five minutes or less for the gamma you're going to need 100 pounds for the beta 200 pounds and for the alpha 300 pounds and you have the same amount of time to do it so really it's all about how fast you can get your net in the water and how many pounds of fish you can reel in at a time uh i really enjoyed this because it was a bit different than the arctic biome where you're sitting there for 20 minutes at a time casting your reel into a hole and you really can't see what's down below it's also a way shorter mission and i definitely don't mind fishing if i'm done in five minutes or less so in total the hexagons earned just shy of about 2000 however the loot one made up for it, and overall, I enjoyed this fishing challenge way more than expected. Because of that, it earned its way to number three on our list of best missions in the bog biome. Now, the second mission that made our list today is a little bit of a surprise. Along Came Pollen comes in at number two. Now, this is another checkpoint mission that takes us all over the bog. And this one in particular has become one of my favorites. Now, as you can see, the goal of this mission is to run along, stopping at the checkpoints while HNLNA scans the ground. And simultaneously, while you're waiting to scan, you get attacked from every direction by every creature close enough. Now, what makes this mission so great, especially for single player, is that it doubles as an amazing chitin farm. On Gamma, as you can see, you can take your time killing the Uranios that come and attack you. Now, they drop chitin when you harvest them, and so you can gather up tons and tons of chitin for all of your building needs. Now, when you get to the end here, the goal is to collect up nine pollen spores. Now, you're going to see them spread out around, I guess what I'm going to call these pollen towers here. And be careful, because when the pollen is coming out of these pollen towers, it will mess you up pretty badly. It gets in your eyes, you cannot see, you move really slowly, and you're a lot more susceptible to getting attacked, which is still going to be happening as you move around and collect these spores. Now, when you collect up all nine, just like in any other checkpoint race, it is an all-out sprint to the beginning. So you are going to have to make sure to use a creature that can get you back to the beginning quickly because you are on a timer. You can see here the Megatherium was very slow and not the best choice for this, but I have done this successfully with a Megatherium. Believe it or not, I've also done this successfully with a Bloodstalker. Now, this combined with all of the sweet loot and over 45,000 hexagons earns this mission the number two spot on my Bog mission list. All right. And the last mission in the bog biome that I absolutely had to show you guys, of course, is my favorite, the King of the Swing. Now, this is the first race mission that I really enjoyed from beginning to end. The goal, of course, is to swing your way through all of these floating rings before the timer runs out. Now, as you can see, this race really puts these Bloodstalkers to good use and really lets you swing freely through the treetops. It's going to put all of your web skills to the test. So practice, practice, practice if you haven't already done so. Now, the Gamma, Beta, and Alpha are only going to add up to just over 2,000 hexagons. But I'll tell you what, the loot and all of the fun that I had more than made up for it. I was very pleasantly surprised with this race and this mission, and because of that, King of the Swing swung its way right up the list to earn my number one pick for favorite mission in the bog biome. And that's three. So that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. And I'm really glad that you could come hang out with me while I went over my top three bog missions here in the bog biome. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought, what were your favorite missions, and uh, what you think of my favorite missions. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me if you haven't already done so. I don't want you to miss out on any of the future content that I have coming out. And until then, later.